All right. Uh, so those are a couple of uh, calls there from Rahul. Uh, Manish, uh, what about you? What's the sense you're getting in trade? And talk to us about this uh, bit of sectoral churn or rotation that we're seeing. Uh, we saw IT uh, that uh, has been gaining some traction sporadically. You've seen very good up moves in select pharma names. Yesterday, it was a turn of FMCG as well. Decode the market action for us. Uh, if you see the entire uh, range, 11,700 is a very crucial level for Nifty. If we are able to cross this level, 11,700, if, if market is able to sustain above that level, then we might see a fresh round of upside rally in the market uh, till 12,000. But 11,000 is a very, uh, 11,700 is a very crucial level. Uh, uh, if you are trading below that, then the bi biasness will be bearish, uh, bearish only. And uh, for a short term traders, uh, a sell call in Nifty, 11,700 uh, places stop loss at 11,700. And we might test the levels of around 11,450, 11,500 again. And overall, if you see Bank Nifty chart structure looks very weaker than Nifty. So we might see a more fall in Bank Nifty than Nifty. Bank Nifty also, also is a sell call, uh, placing a stop loss at 30,850 and look for the short term target from 30,000. Right, so those, uh, that's the strategy with regards to Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. Uh, Manish, in terms of stock-specific action, what would your recommendations be? My first uh, buy call is uh, in Tata Motor. Tata Motor yesterday seen a fresh breakout with aggressive long build-up. Uh, place a stop loss at 163 and look for the short-term target from 185. Next call is buy call in Wipro. Wipro, uh, the, uh, the momentum is clearly shifted on the upside uh, just before the result. Uh, buy Wipro with a stop loss at 252 and look for the short term target from 275. And last call is sell call in Mindtree. Mindtree expected results are uh, extremely negative. And uh, one can sell Mindtree with a stop loss at 765 and look for the short term target from 720. So, Maruti, a buy uh, somewhere around levels of 6,100, that's the word coming in on that front. Another stock that has been in action over the last couple of trading sessions has been a Yes Bank as well. Yesterday, the stock ended at the day's highest levels. 5%, uh, 14% are the kind of gains, but major gains have come in uh, over yesterday's session. Manish, what would your strategy be in terms of dealing with a Yes Bank? Because it's again bounced back above levels of 100 after touching those uh, double-digit lows. Uh, a good level to enter? Uh, definitely, if you see 100 was a psychological resistance, now it has able to cross this and now it is sustaining above that level. So obviously the momentum is clearly shifted on the upside. Uh, the, mom the momentum is very strong before the result and we might see levels of around 120, 125 till the July expiry. So a bullish option strategy is suggested in Yes Bank, a bull call spread. Uh, buy 110 call one lot at uh, one lot at seven rupees and sell 120 call one lot at four rupees. Overall, in strategy, maximum risk is 6,600 rupees. And if uh, we are able to see the prices of 120 plus, then we make it around uh, 15,400 a maximum profit reward. So that's with regards to where paint companies are concerned. KNR construction is up three and a half percent in trade. HDFC asset management continues that up move, three percent up move coming in in today's session as well. Bharat Dynamics, UPL, two and a half percent up move. Yamadri Speciality, uh, you have PVR already. We've got a call on that one. But apart from that, let's just pull up Den Network, Z Entertainment, Dish TV, and see what those counters are doing as we speak. Uh, overall, it's it's you know majorly a lot of stock specific action that we are seeing. But with regards to UPL as well. Uh, Manish, what would your view be? Uh, because it's been uh, alternating moves that we've seen with regards to UPL. If you just pull up a one-month chart in terms of where UPL is concerned today, though we are seeing gains of around uh, 2 to 2.5 percent, but last one month, 33 to 34 percent is the kind of cuts that we've already seen on the counter. Do you think this is a good opportunity to enter? Overall, if you see 620 uh, is a very good support for UPL. Any uh, dip towards 6, uh, 620 will be a very good buy for our short-term traders. Currently, current level also uh, short-term traders can buy with a stop loss at 630 and look for the positional target for around 700 plus. Right, that's the word on the IT, but let's bring M6 on the screen. And uh, this is again uh, the sort of exchange business we were hearing again uh, from the government authorities, again, how again they, are, they would be thinking around the commodity, STT also. Perhaps that's something sentimental, but again, we are seeing uh, some good sort of movement happening for M6 stock also. Meanwhile, breaking stock star cement, as I was just uh, again uh, talking about a couple of minutes back here, again, the Metcap cement company, there is some momentum which is now building up here, and I expect that because from tomorrow, uh, the cement earnings they are starting by. So, again, Metcap cement companies is normally they start again rallying before the, the earnings season start kicking off here. So that's the first one, star cement almost 7 percent. But uh, as we were just talking about uh, Manish, MCX, how's the chart looking to you? Looks like a good sort of uh, momentum building up on the stock. 
Uh, definitely, M6 uh, can test the retest the levels of around 880, 890, uh, which was the earlier's high. Uh, so, uh, for a short term traders, it can be a very good buy with a stop loss at 825 and for a short term target of around 880 plus. And we might see a level of 900 plus in 2 3 months time frame as well. Well, as Hiral was just pointing out, pain stocks they have gained more momentum again. And the, uh, this was something with again we were talking about in the pre open time also. Pain perhaps could be having a positive momentum today. Again, a lot of moving parts, crude price decline, then again you look towards next uh, week earnings season. So, Asian paints trading at days high. Kansai also again is getting momentum though it is the weakest uh, from the fundamental part here primarily because of auto slowdown. But still all Berger, Kansai, Asian all actually are now trading at days high. Kansai in fact is 3 percent up, Berger also again almost 2 percent up. So, the entire paint sector is trading at days high again and that is something I think we should take note of. Second is Apollo hospitals, we just talked about it couple of minutes back and the stock is on a roll. Almost 2.5% up is where the stock is, 8% build up happening in the futures, that is a strong long build up happening in that counter. Uh, Manish, a word on Apollo hospitals, uh, are you sensing uh, a fresh breakout? It has already given a fresh breakout and we might see a 10 to 15 percent rally from the current levels. So, the longer term time, uh, time frame targets are coming around 1500, 1550 plus. So, we might see another 100 to 150 rupees rally in Apollo Hospital. Any dip towards a 1400 will be a very good buy with a stop loss at 1370 and look for the positional target of around 1500 plus. Right. So, that is the word. Uh, Let us uh, bring two charts on the screen. Looks like a fresh momentum building up uh, on that. One again is Dabur. So, let us bring the stock. Yesterday, the move was uh, a surprise, but a very strong move indeed. And that was from Dabur here. Now, flip the chart into one month chart. And again, I will tell you why yesterday's move again was so significant now for the stock here. Today, the stock is already seeing very strong volumes. So, volumes are there. Stock is 1 percent up. And look at that curve here. After a long period of consolidation, the last two sessions, the stock has just taken off here. It is almost 7 percent up and that entirely has come in a span of almost 3 to 4 sessions. Uh, Manish, uh, a word on Dabur if uh, you think uh, the stock is still looking good for this week. Stock has already crossed the resistance of around 410, 415 odd levels. Uh, it has given a range breakout and we might see the next uh, target of around 450 plus. So, any dip towards 425, 420 will be a very good buy with a stop loss at 400, 410 and for a short term target from 450 to 470. So, that is Tata Global. Manish, from your end, any uh, closing calls or any stocks that you are identifying? Uh, sell call in Federal Bank, aggressive short build up in Federal Bank. We might see the levels of around 95, 96 in the upcoming trading sessions once it breaks the 100 uh, psychological support level. So, uh, current level Federal Bank can be short with a stop loss at 106 and for a, for, for a positional targets of around 95.